dot n block graphs. The students in 1M were asked what their eye colour was. And the results were put in this table. The eye colour and the number of students. For brown, there were seven students. For blue, there were six students. For grey, there were two students. And for green, there were four students. Now we need to draw a dot plot from the results. So let's start with a title for the graph, eye colours in 1M. And the various eye colours were brown, blue, grey and green. Let's draw a line across the top of those. Let's firstly look at brown. There were seven students who had brown eyes. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dots represent seven students. Now for blue eyes, there were six students. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six dots represent six students. For grey, there were two students who had grey eyes. One, two. And for green eyes, there were four. One, two, three, four. So there we have it. That is our dot plot. Okay, you can understand why it's called a dot plot. It's full of dots. Fantastic. Pets in Wallace Street. We're going to have a look at a block graph. Because we're dealing with pets, okay, we'd expect to see some names of pets. And the block graph, okay, has a series of blocks. You can see how we're building this up. Now, the first question, how many birds are there? Well, quite simple. We look at bird and we count the blocks. One, two, three. So, three is our answer. Which pet is the most popular? Hmm, well which pet has the most blocks above it? Hopefully you can see that the dog has the most blocks above it. So the dog is the most popular pet. How many pets altogether? Well what we need to do is count the number of blocks. One, two, okay we had two cats there, but we'll just keep on counting. So we're up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 pets altogether. 